put down those Tic Tacs, put away those snapshots. It's time for iNaturalist. Hi, I'm Fiona. I'm an intern at RPA. Right now, I'm at home in quarantine, but just because I'm social distancing doesn't mean I have to distance myself from the great outdoors. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to use my favorite app, iNaturalist. Hey, wait a minute. What is iNaturalist? Well, Fiona from farther away, I'm so glad you asked. iNaturalist is a collaboration between the National Geographic Society and the California Academy of Sciences. You can upload any photo of any plant or animal and iNaturalist will run it through its database and try to match it with a species that looks visually similar and is found in your area. Additionally, there's a community full of amateur and professional naturalists that make identifications all day long. It's basically Pokemon Go for your cool science teacher from high school. So if you join these projects, the next time you go hiking in those forests and you make an observation, you can upload it directly to that project. You get to work on your bird identification and you help out RPA. Scientists use iNaturalist for similar reasons. When uploading an observation to iNaturalist, you can tell it where you made the observation. This helps scientists understand which habitats are doing well and which are in need of some more help. To use iNaturalist, you first have to make an account online, which you can do by clicking sign up in the upper right hand corner. I already have an account, so I'm going to click login. You can make up, um, observations from your phone, but also from your computer by clicking upload. If you want to contribute to RPA's projects, you have to first join them. So I'm already part of the Post and Kill Community Forest uh, project. So I'm going to join the Albert Community Forest. And I'm just going to click search. And I'm going to type in Albert Community Forest and it's going to come up. And I'm going to click about. And in the upper right hand corner over here, I'm going to click join this project. Um, and there's a couple options that you can choose from but I'm gonna click, yes, I wanna join. And that's it. Now, when I upload observations, I'm gonna click choose files. Um, the option to add it to a project comes up right here. And because I didn't take this photo from any one of these uh, forests, I'm not gonna add it, but that's how you would do that. So I'm in the woods behind my house and I found something that I want to try to identify using iNaturalist. It's this flower on the ground. I've seen it around a couple times, but I don't know what it is. Um, so I'm gonna take a couple pictures for iNaturalist. The first one is gonna be of a flower close up and I'm gonna put my hand behind it so I get really good contrast. The next one is gonna be of its leaves, which are down here. Um, and then the third one is gonna be of the whole plant. Like this. The roots can also be a really good identifier, but because I don't want to pull this plant up, um, I'm not going to take a picture of the roots. So you're ready to make your first observation. You're going to click observe, which is the camera icon at the bottom of the screen. That's going to take you to your photo library we're going to, where you're going to select your first photo. Then you're going to click next. And then to add more photos, you're going to click the box with a plus sign to the left of the first photo that you've selected. Then you're going to just repeat the process until you've uploaded all of the photos that you want to include in your observation. Next, you're going to click on no location. And then you're going to click the lower, the arrow in the lower left hand corner of the screen. And that's going to take you to your current location. To change your location, you're going to zoom out until you found your hiking spot. To save your location, you're going to click save in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Next, I'm going to click what did you see? 
which is in the upper middle of the screen. iNaturalist is going to tell me the most specific taxa it thinks my observation belongs to, which is today a genus. And it's going to give me some possibilities of species that are visually similar and are found nearby. And I think it looks like a star of Bethlehem, so I'm going to select that genus. And at the bottom of my screen, it says projects, and any projects that I'm a part of will show up here. But since this doesn't meet the requirements, I'm not going to add it. And then I'm all done, so I'm going to hit share at the bottom of the screen. And that's it. You're all done. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.